Welcome back YouTube. So, a few years noticed on the uh, Evo, but the, I bought the Silver Evo. Uh, been a few issues with the Silver Evo, uh, mainly just general wear and tear. Now, we've had issues with the brakes vibrating heavily when uh, you're braking. So, having looked at it, ordered rear disc and pads, thinking it was from the rear because I couldn't feel it through the steering wheel, but I could feel it through the seat, so which made me think it was the rears. So I ordered those as drilled and grooved because it already had drilled and grooved on the car. So as I've used it a bit more, I've then basically pinpointed it down to being the front. So when I'm braking at low speed, I can just feel the pads just on and off. And you can just feel it and it was getting a an eye pitch squeal from the front and when you braked you could hear the squeal on and off which denoted which I'm pretty sure without getting the DTI out it was a driver's front disc which was warped so I've changed those now so this episode I do apologize I've not filmed actually changing the brakes we should have uh, but yeah we're gonna take the Evo down, the Evo's been down on the lift, we put it up on the two post lift, had a good look around the car, uh, replaced the Disson pads and I've also refurbed and brake calipers. Now originally I did say I was going to powder coat the calipers and then swap them. The more, because I'm using this car daily, uh, I didn't really want it off the road that long and I was going to use the ones off a yellow one. But more and more thought by I just thought, do you know what, they just need a freshen up. The calipers were fine, there's no leaks, no sticky pistons, they just needed a freshen up. So that's what I opted to do, was freshen up the calipers. So all I did was, when we had them stripped, I decided rather than mess about and try and build the brakes up, painted, I fit the new brakes and then painted the calipers while it was built up. The back ones was painted with no pads in the fronts. I just masked the pad face. Not as ideal as powder coating. Fully understand that. However, for what I thought, it's really freshened the car up. I knew if I'd re started refitting pads and stuff, we're only going to mark the paint. So my personal choice was let's just paint, build them up and paint them. So which is what I did. I masked the disc off. Masked anything off which you know would get covered uh, and yeah they've come out spot on so this next clip you're gonna see uh, gonna just jump to the garage where we're down at the lock up and I'll run you through the brakes I've took off the suspension shockers we've took off and show you exactly why we've changed the shock absorbers and also why we've swapped the tyre it's had to have a tyre as well. Uh, again, you'll understand why. It's intermittent. Yeah, it's in, mate. So that's discs off the Evo. Definitely some better days. Pads weren't bad, but obviously discs were warped, so they're no good. Here's the front shockers off. You can see that's rotten. And that's the other one. Spring cup completely collapsed, so that had dropped and been rubbing on the tyre. Original shockers R and L. The strut tops were knocking. So what what the car's had? It's had the shockers off the yellow car. While it's been off, we see we cleaned all the wheels properly. Well, Trev has I am that can't take credit for that. Was going to have calipers powder coated. Uh, I got the stickers with the car, just masked them up, fitted new new discs and pads. It's got Brembo pads in front and Brembo, Trev's just chucked the Brembo pads back in the rear. Adjusted back shoes up, which Trev's cleaned backs of the wheels. Uh, back calipers have been refurbed, so all round, it's tidied it right up. Back brake pipes have been done, Trev's rerouted them because they're not they weren't very neat and tidy, so they've been done. 
may adjust them again when I do the underside. As you can see, just by refurbing calipers, there's uh, made a massive improvement visually. And now it's got some suspension strut tops which aren't knocking, brakes which don't vibrate steering wheel like your hands, calipers which look nice. Just had an engine that. Uh, calipers look nice, so yeah. Overall, we're getting there, so there's just an intermittent ABS sensor to do. A couple of it for the room. Yeah. There you go. That's what escorts do. You know, first thing before we do anything, pump the pedal, pump the new pads out. Many times people drive off without doing this after doing brakes. Come to first corner, good to stop and don't get anything out of gear. Uh, and brakes nice. You can see how it's worn it away and it's its suspension, so that's part one to go on. Switch? No, you said you put an extra heater in. Yeah, there's, there's, Brand new idea, brand new. So why I put a second hand one on is because the rest of them are good. And then I want to replace four just for that bit of wear. So it's part worn. So it shouldn't hopefully wind the diff up. Ten gram on left. Two lights. There we go. Just there. <laughs> Come on, zero zero at least zero five. But do me. Zero zero. I'll do. Let's get her back on, donkey. Let's get her back on. <laughs> Come on, zero zero at least zero five. But do me. Zero zero, I'll do. Let's get her back on, donkey. Let's get her back on. So I am using a different camera now, I've upgraded, uh, I used to film everything on an iPhone, it, this is now a Samsung S21 Ultra, so I'm going to have a look now at, at the Evo, there's a few still bits niggling me, got to get this bonnet vent painted, I will do that, and I will show you that, uh, I have just obviously washed the car, hence why the discs have gone rusty, but as you can see, straight away, just, just by refurbing them calipers has done a huge visual improvement i seem to have lost a center cap off this rear so i do have some more ordered them in 56 mil ironically and they seem a bit loose ordered them in 60 and they've come a bit big the car drives fantastic now there's no knocks no rattles it drives nice it handles nice what there is to do there is some wheel alignment on the back end to do so what you've got on the evo you've got the subframe and then you've got the two horizontal arms going to the hubs now what happens is is if you push the arms make them wider it'll push the bottoms of the hubs out which will increase and give you some negative camber so there's them 
they look fine but the bolts look a bit suspect for the towing so you've also got on the front of the evos you've got another arm which alters the toe in and toe out so it is fully adjustable but them bolts looked a bit sus so we did leave them i'm going to actually get them undone at home before i take it back uh, but yeah they'll essentially toe in make it toe in at the minute i'm sure he says one of mine slightly towing out one of the wheels so hopefully we can get that sorted next time we go but uh, yeah, uh, cheers for coming back. Next video, I am back on the yellow Evo, so don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment. If there's anything in here you're not happy with, just, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, definitely we're back on the yellow Evo. Really happy about that. It is uh, Christmas Eve today, so I'm going to go in there, have a couple of hours, so there will be some content on the yellow Evo. A few of you have followed it, know I've been doing the chassis legs. They're done. It's pretty much down to paint under seal and, and, and let's start building it up nice. I haven't dropped stuff at the zinc plate as yet, but yeah. So, plenty to go at. Thanks for coming. I uh, hope I've not bored you too much on this and you've learnt something. Uh, but yeah, cheers. Cheers, guys. See you next time.